This woman rolls around in money with diamond chains, and the man tears the money up and drinks it straight up. They live a life of paper and gold every day, but no one would have guessed they just half a month ago, they were penniless. They bought a second-hand house in a remote suburb to save money and moved from the big city to a small countryside in the middle of nowhere. Curious, the man rips the wallpaper off the wall, but accidentally finds a secret door. He finds the key and opens the door, and just as the woman is about to walk in, the light in the hallway suddenly begins to flicker. The man thought there was just a problem with the circuit and called an electrician. The electrician took one look and said the circuit was too complicated to offer. Before he left, he told the man that there was a murder in this house decades ago. The man didn't dare to tell his wife about the murder, so we drank alone in the mysterious room. A bottle of wine was soon finished, and when he was drunk, he whispered that he wanted to have another bottle. Just then, the lights began to flicker. The man never imagined that the legendary murder house hides a wishing house that makes people wish for things to come true. The next morning, his wife woke up and found the man's room full of precious paintings. The man said excitedly to her, What do you want most now? Tell me. The wife blurts out that she wants a million dollars. The light flashed and the money appeared neatly in front of her. It was really a million dollars. The woman suspected that she had not woken up from her dream. The man said, since such a magical thing has happened, might as well learn to enjoy it. The life of the rich is so boring. As the days go by, they can't help but feel a little empty. Now they just want a baby, but the couple had several attempts to have a baby, which ended in miscarriages. While Matt was out for a walk, Lisa went into the wishing room. When Matt returns home, he sees the strange baby on the bed, and something seems to occur to him. Matt was furious, but seeing how much Lisa liked it, he kept the baby. The baby naturally stayed, but the fear in Matt's heart grew bigger and bigger. He remembers the murders that happened in this house decades ago, and finds out that the murderer is in the mental hospital. Matt grabbed a handful of money and drove to the asylum. He disguises himself as a reporter and meets the former killer, but he takes one look at Matt and tells him what he's up to. Apparently, he knows about the room, too. He tells Matt he'd better get out of there now before something irreversible happens. Just as Matt finishes filling up his car with gas and is about to pay for it, he pulls out his pocket and realizes that all of his money has turned to ash. Matt seemed to realize what was going on and rushed home, picked up a chair in his room and threw it out the window. In the next second, the chair turned into ashes. He took out another Van Gogh and put half of it outside the house. Then something magical happened. The flowers quickly eroded and eventually turned to ash. Matt took an axe and smashed the walls of the room and found that they were densely covered with electrical circuits. It turns out that the room is wrapped in strange circuits and the things that come out of the room can only be used inside the room and will only turn into ashes outside the room. Lisa was planning to take the baby out for a sunbathing and since everything in the room could not be used outside, what would happen to the baby? As soon as the baby leaves the room, it starts to cry. Its neck starts to age and its feet are getting bigger. Matt leans against the door, listening to the cries outside, feeling guilty. But he couldn't help himself and immediately carried the baby into the room. However, in that short period of time, the baby turned into a six or seven year old child. Lisa named the baby Sean and taught him to read and write every day. But he always stared out the window, longing to see the outside world. Despite Lisa's best efforts to keep him company, he was still locked up at home. Once, when Lisa wasn't looking, Sean opened the door and reached out. Luckily, Lisa was quick to pull him back. After that, Lisa boarded up all the doors and windows, and the house became depressing and spooky. Matt couldn't take it anymore and argued with his wife. They didn't realize that Sean was standing outside the door and heard everything. The next day, they woke up to find the chamber open and the lights flickering. Matt pushed open the door to find a forest in the room. It turns out that Sean wanted to go outside so badly that he used the room to create the outside world. Lisa is delighted and thinks he's the best of both worlds. Matt, however, is terrified of what Sean will do with the power. Meanwhile, the original owner of the house calls, and when he learns that the couple created a child out of the room, he finally reveals the truth about the murder from years ago. It turns out that he was also created by the room, and that in order to release him from his confinement, he must kill his creator. Lisa bursts into tears after hearing this brutal truth. Early the next morning, Sean secretly took the key and went out the door. Waking up, Matt feels something is wrong and goes to Sean's room to check on him, only to find that he's already gone out. When they arrive in the living room, they find Sean all grown up. The boy suddenly grows up and points a gun at his parents. The men quickly push him down. In the process of pushing him, Lisa accidentally hit the wall and fainted. When she opened her eyes again, Matt had appeared in front of her. 
and gently told her that Sean had been killed and his body had been turned into ashes. On the other side, Matt wakes up from his coma as well. He smashes through the wall of the room and crawls through the mess of wires to the other side. Turns out, Sean made a wish to create an exact replica of the world. Soon after, Lisa realized something was wrong with her husband and pushed him to the ground. He lay on the ground and cried out pitifully. Lisa freaks out and desperately tries to get out of the house, but can't find an exit. Matt tumbled through the window just in time to run into Lisa. When the Matt's appear in front of her, he couldn't tell which one was real. Lisa has an idea, and then Sean reveals his true colors. The two desperately tried to escape, but the house was created by Sean and the couple couldn't find the exit no matter how hard they ran. Eventually, Sean found them. He stabbed Matt to death with a dagger. But just then, two other Matt's and Lisa's appeared outside the door. They were running fast, holding hands. It turns out that what Sean stabbed was a trick the couple had wished for. With quick reflexes, Sean chases after them until they return to the real world. The three of them meet again at the door and Sean charges at Matt again, only to be taken out by Matt. Lisa quickly closes the door, and outside the door, Sean instantly begins to age, transforming from a young man to a stout old man, and eventually to a puddle of ash. A month later, the couple moved to the city, expecting life to begin anew. However, Lisa found out she was pregnant. When she found out she was pregnant, she wasn't happy, she was terrified, and as the lights around her bed began to flicker, Lisa began to wonder if she had really gotten out of the wishing room. 